Good evening, everyone. It's Saturday, July 11th. Here's our daily recap for the cruising division. It's their day two today. We left off this morning at around 9.45 with pretty much everyone in, in both these cruising fleets making their way to the northeast, close to parallel with this rumble. In the beginning, these folks were aimed right here, heading towards Pentwater. And we'll get the tracker starting and you can see how the early part of their day went. So you've got these boats over here working their way towards shore and the boats that went in during the middle of the day were able to keep up their speed even though they had some jibing and uh, some jibing to do and, and really worked the shore breeze right up around this point south of Pentwater. Some of these boats got within five miles. A lot of these boats actually got within five miles of the shore, but one boat in particular, Roxy, they actually hugged this point pretty close, and at one point they were less than two miles offshore. And I'll pause it here as Roxy gets around the point. And there you go, paused. And this tracker has a cool feature. It's an adjustable ruler. So we go up to tools here in the center, of the top of the screen, click on toggle ruler and a point will appear in the center of your screen. I'll zoom in to make it a little bit easier to see. So this point appears and you simply click on it, drag it to one end or you know, one, one end of the distance that you'd like to measure, or the area that you'd like to measure, drag the other end, and I'll put it right here, right on Roxy's trail. And it shows that at this point, at 156 or 1356, Roxy was 1.76 nautical miles offshore. And it can this ruler can be used to do any two points on this map. So you could measure the distance between two boats. So click one end, put it on one boat, click the other end, drag it over to the other boat. And at this point in time, so again, it's 156 is seen on the tracker. The distance between Que Loco 2 and Roxy was 2.62 nautical miles. So that's a pretty cool feature. If you want the ruler to disappear, simply go back up to toggle ruler, click on that and it disappears. So we'll make that ruler disappear there. Zoom out a little bit and let's see how the rest of the day plays out. They actually have some boats that went searching for breeze. They actually stayed out in the middle of the lake. They didn't uh, head to the rum line last night. Stayed out kind of on the, the west side of the course and as you'll see as, as the day goes on, they were able to, to hold their own and, and get back into the mix once um, once they crossed the lake. So they waited a little bit longer to cross the lake. Princess M here, actually, they've sailed up and then they went out looking for breeze because they didn't like the breeze that they had here. So let's go ahead and get this. These these are the tweets, the, the messages that keep coming up. Um, anywhere there's a bird, you'll see that they had something to say. So let's let this uh, tracker go and see how the rest of the day played out. We can speed it up a little bit. And you see these boats actually it looks like the boats in front which are Jug Band is here and Infinite Diversion is purple following them there. We're going along right with them you'll see that they uh, they really were able to move out once they got around Big Sable Point, which is the point in between Ludington and, and Manistee right here. And they've been able to kind of put some distance between them and the rest of the fleet. These two lead boats traveled over 70 miles so far today in, in the last 12 hours. So they've uh, managed to, to really keep their speed up. For tonight, we're looking at um, most of the fleet's going to get around Big Sable Point here. We'll zoom back out. Sorry about that. We'll zoom back out, and the fleet's going to get around Big Sable Point tonight, which is just north of Ludington here. 
and the breeze at Manistee for the, most of the day was pretty steady around 10, nights, 10 knots, but it looks like it will gradually decrease overnight. It's going to be interesting to see what kind of speeds these guys can, can maintain with that decreasing breeze or uh, what kind of speeds they can reach. So the breeze at Big Sable Point is forecasted to do much of the same as Manistee. So it could be a, a long night ahead for these guys. And they'll be working the shore and sailing with whatever breeze they can find. So these areas in here, these kind of coves or these the areas where the, where the land goes in, they could get uh, they could get kind of crowded and see a lot of traffic tonight. So let's just hope for a little bit more breeze than expected for these guys. Well, thank you very much for watching, and we'll be back in the morning with another update.